Alright guys, welcome. I want to do another video. This is Moxum. It's going to be another unboxing video. And uh, today is something extra cool. So I've been waiting for a while to be able to get my hands on this. It's been available. Um, I just haven't had the means. Uh, this is the Synthesis Technology E370 Quad Morphing VCO. It's kind of funny that Everything's backwards in this video, it appears. So, let's open this guy up. This is going to be a pretty large mod. And eventually will take the place of, uh, of the neutrons. So it looks like we got a little stapled instruction manual. Black and white. So that's nice, it can probably do some quick start stuff and then go online and look at the you know the regular tutorial PDF or whatever so yeah there's some nice nice little foam cushioning in here for the mod which is nice um, so that's some pretty nice packaging it wasn't just bouncing all over the place in here sometimes uh, you know you get a mod and it's in a box that's about it <laughs> So this is a quad VCO, voltage controlled oscillator, I believe it's, a, it's like a digital wavetable thing so you can, uh, oh I'm so excited about this, supposedly the, uh, this was a kickstarter thing that ended up generating plenty of money because people were pretty excited about this guy's previous work I, from what I can gather, comes in a nice anti-static bag, once you get it from the bubble wrap, which is a nice bubble wrap with sticky envelope here. I was hoping to get the black model of this, but they had uh, silver, so that's what I got because I'm not patient. So what you can do with this is you can load uh, wavetables into it. And then there's uh, like a, some morphing stuff so it'll morph between them. And it looks like we got, I think this is a sticker, but instead of being for the company, it's straight up an E370 sticker. I don't know if in this video this is really going to be backwards. Maybe I'll show it to this one. You probably can't see it from this far away. But yeah. So cool sticker, it looks like we've got, uh, can't tell if we got one or, it's going to be, I can't tell if there's one or two sizes of screws, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six screws, and there's six holes in it, yeah, so they're all probably the same size, with little nylonies, you can see them in there, they don't look too thin, but they don't look too thick either, but I'm just happy to have them, so I don't have to rack rash this thing so this is it in all its shiny glory so you'll have four waveforms on here's a little screen hopefully I'm hoping I was really torn between this and uh, the cloud terrariums which are two oscillator wavetable morphing voltage controlled oscillators uh, so I figured whatever they'd put on the dual the quad would probably have it too but this is going to be uh, definitely, depending on how it sounds and, and how I like it, but I anticipate that this is going to uh, be driven by the chord part of the Symphonian. So because I have four oscillators here, I can probably go out one and one output, so I'll have to expand on these things later as I get more funds. And uh, yeah, but these should, this, this should be really amazing. Also, another thing that really drew me to this, this has disappointingly enough an unpopulated surprisingly enough an unpopulated SD port so I can take an SD card put it in here I can load wavetables on it what's nice is I can uh, basically recall patches kind of I mean I imagine I'll probably I'll have to learn about this because this would be the closest thing to setting up a modular synth 
like I said, this is replacing the semi-modular, eventually the semi-modular neutrons. Um, yeah, so you have a nice clicky knob here, and it's a push button. And then, yeah, these, these feel really nice. These feel nice and smooth like butter. Screen protector on the screen. I might cut this little tab off and just keep that on there. We'll see. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll get this in the rack and then uh, learn how to use it. And I'll do some reviews on this and, and then we'll make some songs and see what it sounds like. Uh, this comes with a pretty long cable, which I, I, I would assume it would. And it's also, uh, it's pretty, it's a thick one. If we look at the back of the unit. <clears throat> There's some sort of jumper. It looks like it goes from, uh, goes from this knob to the circuit board, so a jumper there. Uh, it looks like there's some solder some solder points for power. I'm not quite sure what that's about, but it doesn't look wholly expandable anywhere. I'm not seeing any. Any stuff for expansion. You're hearing Nika, I just got home and she wants to, uh, she wants to hang out with me, so I better get to it. So <laughs> There you go. There's the, uh, oh, I probably didn't even say it. I've, I'm so excited about this. This is a uh, synthesis technology. It's the E370 quad morphing voltage controlled oscillator. Yeah. So let me know if you have one of these in the, in the comments or you were hoping to get one of these or there's something you want to, you want to hear it do or something like that. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I appreciate every one of you. Thanks. This is Moxham. See you in the next video.